Good morning, good morning, and welcome back to the Bliss Energy. Okay, let's get started. Today is Thursday, November. What is today's date? Today is the 10th, right? Or the 11th, November 11th. Lord, I don't even know the date. Time is flying by so fast. I'm telling you guys, we're living like in a 12-hour day now. That's how fast time is moving, you know? They say we have 24 hours in a day, but we actually live it in a 12-hour day. So time is speeding up fast. I can't even keep up with it. So let's go. Let's get a message for this morning. Okay, family. Ask our spirit guys to give us an accurate message this morning. Ask them to come through to let us know. Okay, let's go. Okay, so are you if you're new to my channel, I usually start off with a spirit message. And normally when I pull from this deck, it kind of sets the mood of what else that's getting pulled for the day. Okay. So, ooh. I gotta pick those back up. That's too much flying out. That was my fault. Let's do one more shuffle. Ooh. Okay. Let's do one more shuffle. Okay. And then we're gonna move on. I'm gonna go with this because this these these kind of slipped out. So we're gonna go with that that fell out, okay? I don't know, it's weirdness going on with the parts. You know what? Let's pick that up. First time me doing this, I my spirit said clean off the cards, so I'm gonna clean them off. They kind of felt fun, funny in my hand. So I'm gonna clean them off. Lighten a little sage here, okay? Uh let's clean the cards off. Because the energy just felt weird. Okay. Yes. Okay, family. Let's do that over again. And also, when you clean off your cards and you like some things, you don't have to like drench it down with a lot of smoke. All you have to do is just, you know, run it through some smoke and it's it's clear. Okay, let's go. Then we ask the spirits to come through and give us an accurate message for this morning. Okay. All right, let's cut the deck. Let's cut the deck, guys. I've been doing that for a minute now. <laughs> let's go. What is the message? <laughs> Guess what? It was the same card that flew out. Okay, look at that. I believe it was forgiveness. Holding on to your resentment and anger and preventing or even su suffocating your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of the strongest and more and the most damaging of human condition. The art of forgiveness, it the art of forgiveness in its own right is actually in incredible powerful and it has the capability to heal and transform i don't know why i sound like this this morning but this card means to heal give me one second let me take these off and put on the real the real reading <laughs> okay y'all can't see me but okay forgiveness holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth Resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotions. The act of forgiveness in its own right is equally in incredible, powerful, and it has the capability to heal and transform. So, we, like I said, and I'm telling you, these, this past week, we, we, we are still healing ourselves. We are still going through that motion, okay? We have a card on the table saying, forgive. Okay, nobody says to forget, but you have to forgive because when you don't forgive and you carry those emotions around, they block you. They block your abundance that's coming in from the universe. You have to understand the situation, okay? And even if you, I should say this, even if you don't understand, you know that it happened for a reason, okay? You can't hold on to resentment and anger. I'm telling you guys, it's going to block you. 
Okay, because remember the universe, God, whoever you call on, put these lessons in front of you so you can learn, so you can grow. And some people say, yeah, 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 I learned and I'm growing, but you haven't forgave. You haven't, you haven't, you haven't did the forgiveness. You haven't done the work of forgiving. You grown, yeah, you grown, but have you really forgive? Have you really, have you really gave that, okay, I'm over it and I'm moving on. That is, that's the question, okay? So please, try in your heart to get, to, to, to let it go of the resentment and the hurt. Because you cannot move on to the, to this new chapter holding that. That's what this card is saying. Let's go. Let's see what else the cards got for us this morning. Flipping out. Anything else? <laughs> Let's get a good shuffle. They flipping out this morning. Ooh. Trying to get a hold of these cards. Okay. Let's go. Get a good shuffle. Ooh, two cards flew over there. Okay. Let's get these cards in order here. They're so stiff and new. But it's okay. We got this. Okay, I got three cards on the table already. I'm about to cut the deck. Let's do that. Okay. First card that flew out. What's the aid of Gabrielle? We had that card yesterday. Here we go. King of Raphael and the five of Raphael. Okay. Water cards is on the table. Starting off the deck with fire card, Raphael, um, Gabrielle. Okay. And aid of Gabrielle is saying that it's coming in fast. It's coming in fast. There's some changes going on. Okay, a great day of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication, communication, changes coming along. I guess yesterday's read is coming into today's reading because yesterday read was all about, you know, communicating. Okay, it's almost like the same read. Here we go. King of Raphael's here. Yes, it's safe to trust the ability to accomplish many things at once. Follow your creative passion. Five of Raphael. Everything happens for a reason. Release regrets. Embrace the um, opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. Okay, so we have these. We have these cards on the table. It's asking you how to do some forgiving, some healing. Okay, because you know maybe some of you guys are starting a new relationship, a new job, but you're holding on to your old anger and resentment. Okay, and one of the ways that you can re release this 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 emotion that you guys is having is to have a conversation about it, face the person, or talk to somebody else so you can release it and let it go. Okay, let's let's keep going. I tell you, this card always. This card always sets the, the read. It lets me know like what's what is in store. Or I have an idea. Okay? Let's go. Eight of Michael. Okay. So Eight of Michael's here and telling you you can be free from this situation if you just communicate and let it go. Okay, you can be free. Make a um courageous choice to change your situation. Not seeing things clearly. Okay. Okay. This is where you guys is at right now. This first row. The second row is where we're heading. Okay. These are all green. <laughs> look at the, look at this. Green, green, green. It's all about communicating, <laughs> forgiving, letting go. I just can't stress that enough because that is what's holding a lot of us back. Okay. A lot of us back. Some, some of us think that we have forgiven and moved on and, and had this conversation. You know, but... I don't think so. Let's go. Now that Michael's here. Yeah, because you're sitting around still worrying about the situation. Like all week. Like Michael's been showing up. Your worries is unnecessary. Focus on your thoughts on the outcome of your desire. Release feelings of regret. Okay, let's go. The chariot. 
okay? Because it's coming in fast. Determination is self-control, career advancement, acknowledgement of success by others. Okay. It's going to come in fast. The aid of Gabrielle and the chariot is here. So we do have a major arcana card on here. Yes, let's go. Another major a decision. <laughs> decision. Release yourself from which that holds you back. A need to detox. Unnecessary worry based on lack of self-confidence. You can't make this up. Decision. Release it. Let it go. It says release yourself from the that which holds you back. A need to detox. Unnecessary worry or lack of self-confidence. Oh my goodness. Determined self-control. I mean, they want to it wants to come in, but you have to make a decision. Make a decision. Is this is this is more like a I think this is I'm caring of a relationship here. I really am. Look. You see her? Everything happens for a reason. She's turning her back. She's walking away. Aiden Michael, she's running out. You're free. You can go. You're free. Okay? But instead, you're sitting around. You're worrying. Okay? It's telling you to release everything. You see these two cards? They're releasing it. Ada Gabrielle and the decision card. Okay. Okay, let's go. I'm huffing because I'm like we. I feel, I feel like some of we should be past this. I really do. But I guess you know, love is a serious thing. Okay. Love is a serious thing, and this read this morning is really about relationships. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Okay, because some someone's been hurt. Okay. And if you want to stay in this relationship, you have to, you have to, you have to forgive. Because if not, it's going to block you to make the relationship grow into what it has to grow in. Okay? Sitting around worrying about if this is going to happen or which decision should I do? No. Okay? Ada Gabrielle, Ada Raphael's here saying there's something better waiting for you. Do what you know is right for you, a spiritual quest. Okay, right underneath the uh, aid of Michael, right underneath each other. You're free. You're free. Do what makes you happy. Okay, you're free. There's something better waiting. Why are you running out the gate? And Michael, in your back telling you free, there's something better waiting. But you got to release yourself from this stuff. I'm telling you, you guys got to release yourself from this. Yeah. Let's go. Let's pull from another card. Come on, guys. Come on. Let it go. All right. That's right. Any additional message you have for us today? These cards felt weird in my hand. <laughs> I'm telling you. Any 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 additional message you have for us today? Okay. One more time. Oh, one more time. Okay, we got Isis on the table. Okay, and she's saying magic manifesting. Your dreams, your vision, and your goals are becoming reality. Stay focused. Stay focused, okay? Your dream, your vision, your goals are all becoming reality. Stay focused. Let's go to Isis. I never read from this book. So let's go to Isis and see what Isis is, is um, the message that she's giving us right now, which we clearly understand. But let's just read from the book. <clears throat> okay, where are you, Isis? 
Oh, you don't, you don't want to show up, huh? Hold on one second, guys. Hold on. It's an alphabet order. I don't know why I can't find her. Okay, she should be coming up. Here it is. About Isis is a strong, smart, and focused Egyptian winged goddess. According to legend, she was able to move from darkness to light and between the underworld, heaven and earth. For that reason, whenever she comes up to us, she will help us move from the hell of our own fear into the heaven of our own love. She was she was also able to reveal her love to or um to um oh, wow I just got my my mind just went blank. Okay, let's start that out. She was able to um, reveal her lover Orias from the dead, and this powerful story shows how she can help us reveal as a aspect of our life or a dream that we may have killed off with fear or lack of self-belief with her magical abilities isis will guide us to bring our dreams into reality extended message you are moving into a space where your dreams really is becoming your outward reality this is extremely powerful time and it's vital to keep focus on the highest good of all you no longer want to reveal your own history or feel unsupport un unsupportive of acknowledging where you once were and how you have changed that situation around you is a powerful focus of gratitude that will align you with the universe abundance discipline and commitment are important now consider that you are moving between worlds when your daydream or creative visions are being life enhancing ideas into reality magic is manifesting all around you this is excellent this is exciting so she's here to tell you to stay focused on your dreams because they the universe is gonna bless you with abundance with all this worry, with all this uh, resentment, she's our eyes are showed up on the table, telling us to stay focused. Whenever she comes to us, she will help us move from the hell of our own fear into the heaven of our own love. She was a also able to reveal her lover. Orias from the dead and this powerful story shows how she can help us retrieve in an aspect of our life or a dream that we may have killed off with fear or lack of self-belief with her magical abilities isis guides you to bring our dreams into reality this is why she popped up to let us know you still have it but you're blocking it with this read okay <laughs> You can't make this up. Let's see what's at the end of the deck. Leap of faith. Take the leap of faith. Believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy. Okay, I'm leaving it here. Sorry for the rocky um start of the read. I had on my I had on a different glasses. One of the glasses I have on, like these glasses right here, <laughs> these are for me to read. And I had on a totally different glasses where, you know, so I had to change out of that and so on. And then this morning with these cards, they were just, they just didn't feel right in my hand. But now, uh, you know, I, I get it. I get why. I, I guess, you know, my spirit didn't even want to see the message that was coming out. But here it is, family. And it is clear. Okay. So please do some meditation. Clear out what you think that you think that you think that you clear out and it's still lingering around because the, the universe is about to telling you it's going to come in fast. That's why the chariot showed up. Okay. So it's telling you don't don't give up on your dreams. Okay. Because look, there's something better waiting. Okay. All right. So let's leave it there. Tomorrow is Friday family and we will talk also. Take a look at my website, okay? I do personal readings, okay? I do tarot card counseling and life coach counseling, okay? And you can book a session on my website, okay? So until then, family, peace.